Hi, good morning friends. I am Dr. K.S. Jor, Principal, Martha Mat Teachers Training College, Rani. Today, we are going to discuss one of the learning theories in psychology. You are familiar with the term learning. What do you mean by learning? Learning means modification or changes of behavior through practice or training. Let me ask some questions regarding the term learning. How the behavior changes occur in children? What goes into the process of learning? How does a child learn a set of facts, attitudes, thoughts, habits, skills, etc. in his life? For answering these questions, Several theories evolved by various psychologists in the field of education. Some of them are stimulus response with reinforcement, stimulus response without reinforcement, cognitive field theories, constructed theories, etc. Now we have to discuss about one of the prominent theories proposed by Edward L. Thorndike in Stimulus Response with the Reinforcement Theory. His theory is known as Trial and Error Learning. He was an American behaviorist and also known as father of modern psychology. According to him, learning is a matter of trial and error. It takes place the association between stimulus and response connections. That means stimulus, response, again stimulus. That stimulus is known as reinforcement stimulus. Therefore, this theory is also known as connectionist theories. It was a gradual affair. Therefore, this theory is also known as bond theory of learning. Now, we have to understand meaning of trial and error. We learn by making trials. During each trial, we make mistakes or errors. By conducting further trials, we might be again making mistakes. Again and again, we conduct these trials, wrong responses will be eliminated. And successful response is selected and uh, connected with appropriate stimulus. That is... The successful response is stabilized or stamped in, unsuccessful ones tend to be eliminated. Thus, learning takes place gradually on the process of trial and error. Can you give some examples in trial and error learning? The examples of trial and error learnings are doing mathematical problems, learning uh, multiplication table, drawing figures, learning alphabet, meaning of uh, words, sentences, formation of sentences, etc. You can also find out many trial and error examples in your day-to-day -day life situations. Trial and error learning in the Varanyal, Srama Parajaya Padanam and Nana. In the Varanyal, number Sramikinu, Parajaya Padanam. Beendum Sramikinu, Beendum Parajaya Padanam. Beendum Beendum Sramichu and Dairikinu, Angane, Sabichu Dirikin, the Palatilla, Paraja, Tinde, Yenam, Koranu, or any very game, Avasanam, number Vijay Thilota, Etichiri and Chino. Adine, Srama, Paraja, Padanam, and the Barino. In one of his experiments, he put a hungry cat in a puzzle box. Why it is called a puzzle box? The box can be opened only after pressing the lever inside the cage. The favorite food of cat, that is the fish, that was kept outside the box. The cat was so hungry. Therefore, the motive of the cat is to get the food at any cost. Here, the cat made number of responses such as scratching the cage, pulling the bar, pushing the bar, biting the bar and move the movable parts. By chance, the cat pressed the lever, door could be opened, 
the cat came out of the cage and got the food. Again, Thorndike placed the cat under similar conditions. On the subsequent trials, the cat took less time for reaching the goal. Ultimately, the cat learned how to open the door in a single trial. In other words, after repeating the process, the cat learned to make the correct response almost immediately. So, whenever the cat wanted food, it pressed the liver. He also observed that pressing the liver was not followed by food. The rate of pressing the liver became diminished. This is the puzzle box experiment conducted by Thorndike. In this experiment, we can see four basic elements in it. First one, the motive. Second and third together, stimulus response. And the last one, reward. Motive. The cat was so hungry, hence she was in need of food. Here, the cat came out of the cage and read the food was the motives of the cat. Now, the second and third together, stimulus response. Here, the cat made number of responses into a multiplicity of stimuli. With learning, the cat avoided all the unnecessary stimulus and responded into a particular or essential stimulus. That means that is the liver inside the cage. And the last, the reward. When the cat came out of the cage, it got a reward that is a piece of fish. Thus, in the trial and error learning method, we can conclude that the four basic elements such as motive, stimulus response and the reward. From this experiment, he derived three primary laws and five subordinate laws in learning. The three primary laws are law of readiness, law of exercise and law of effect. Now we can explain law of readiness. According to Thorndike words, law of readiness means when a modifier connection is ready to do so is satisfying and when it is not ready to do so is unsatisfying. That means when the child is ready to learn, he learns quickly, effectively, with greater satisfaction than when he is not ready to learn. This law we can interpret in another way. When a conduction unit is ready to conduct, conduction by it is satisfying. When the conduction unit is not in readiness to conduct, but forced to conduct, conduction it is annoying. When a conduction unit is in readiness to conduct, not to conduct is annoying. Here, conduction unit means the child or the interest of the child or the attitude of the child or the readiness of the child or the preparedness of the child. If you Kutti Padikan Sanathan Ayiki Kutti Padikan Aitula Saga Jeru, other Aitula materials on Tangil, Padanam Tritikaramai Nadakan the Ayiki. Enal Kutti Padikan Sanathan Ayiki Kutti Ke Avishamulla materials Illadriki in Jaydal, Padanam Tritikaramala Tavastero to the Cherim. Enal Kutti Padikan Sanathan Aladriki. Could take four seed of the Pigian and Nandangil at the Paraja Tilote, Etichiri Gayulo. Idana, law of readiness in them, Thorndike, Pipavan, Chaita. That means readiness is a state of motivation to do something. Without such motivation, effective and active participation of the learner are not possible. Therefore, the teacher's duty is to create interest in children. Teachers has to create readiness in children. He has to create interest in children. That means, or in other words, the uniform method of teaching is not suitable to all children. He has to change his method of teaching wherever necessary. 
likewise we can create readiness in children second law law of exercise it can be divided into two sub laws one law of use and second one law of disuse law of use when a modifier connection is made between a situation and a response then the connection's strength is increased provided other things are kept equal second law of disuse when a modifiable connection is not made between a situation and a response over a period of time then the connection strength is decreased in psychology use and disuse runs parallel to learning and forgetting if we are using the material again and again we can easily remember it whereas if you are not using the material easily it will be disappear from our memory therefore the teacher's duty is it to provide drill work assignment homework for using the material then the students can easily remember or recollect the material now the next law law of effect when a modifier connection between a situation and a response is made and is followed by or accompanied by satisfying state of affairs then that connection's strength is increased when the bond is also made followed by and accompanied by annoying state of affairs then the connection strength is decreased endu paranjal or situation e follow cheythu or response undagiyum adu thruptigaramayittulla avasthayana ennundengil aa bond shakti praavikkum ennal situation e follow cheythu റെസ്പോൺസ് ഉണ്ടാകുകയും അതിനെ തുടർന്ന് തൃപ്തികരമല്ലാത്ത അവസ്ഥയാണ് സൃഷ്ടിക്കുന്നതെങ്കിൽ ആ ബോണ്ട് കണക്ഷൻ്റെ ശക്തി കുറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നതായിട്ട് കാണാം അതിൻ്റെ പസിൽ എക്സ് പസിൽ ബോക്സ് എക്സ്പെരിമെൻറ്റിൽ നമ്മൾ കണ്ടതാണ് തോണ്ടയ്ക്ക് അവിടെ വേറൊരു കാര്യം കൂടെ ഒബ്സർവ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നു അതായത് പ്രസിംഗ് ദ ലിവർ വരുമ്പോൾ അതിനെ തുടർന്ന് പൂച്ച പുറത്ത് വരികയും ഫുഡ് കിട്ടാതെ വന്നു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ ലിവറിൽ പ്രസ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ടുള്ള പ്രേരകശക്തി അവിടെ കുറഞ്ഞു വരുന്നതായിട്ട് കാണുന്നു തൃപ്തികരമായിട്ടുള്ള അവസ്ഥയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ആ ബോണ്ട് കണക്ഷൻ ഇൻക്രീസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടേയിരിക്കും തൃപ്തികരമല്ലാത്ത അവസ്ഥയാണെന്നുണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ആ ബോണ്ട് കണക്ഷൻ ഡിക്രീസ് ചെയ്തുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കും ദാറ്റ് മീൻസ് ദോസ് റെസ്പോൺസസ് വിച്ച് ലീഡ് ടു സക്സസ് ഓർ റിവാർഡ് ദാറ്റ് ടെൻറ്റ് ടു ബി സ്റ്റാമ്പിഡിൻ ആൻഡ് വിച്ച് ലീഡ് ടു ഫെയിലുവർ ഓർ പണിഷ്മെന്റ് that tend to be dropped out here we can find out the reward and punishment always related with this law obviously the pleasure and the pain principle also related this law of effect therefore the teacher's responsibility is when the correct responses arises within the child should be rewarded with pleasant approval like psychological reward material reward and symbolical reward now let us just go through the subordinate laws first one law of multiple response when a child faces a new problem he tries to solve it he makes number of or several or diversified responses through the process of trial and error it to find out the solution of the problem adayad ivada kutti oru vaadu response responses kutti cheyanayittu shramikkum adile angane avasanam adile etto correct aayittullathu select cheyanayittu avan thirumanathil etti cherunnadana the second one is the mental set or the attitude of the child the mental set whatever may be the situation the mental set or the attitude of the child is more important than the situation or the particular time it is more or less 
temporary condition of one's attitudes, interests, needs, etc. Therefore, teachers' responsibilities encourage the children to participate different activities in home, school, community, and the peer group, etc. Now, the third law is law of prepotency of elements. Here, the child is unable to concentrate the whole ideas. Sometimes, or more or less, he concentrates only in a particular area. Therefore, he responded only in that particular area. Next is response by analogy. That means, the present behavior of a child is always associated with or always influenced by the previous experience of the learner which is expectation of future feasibility. The present response is always influenced by the previous response of the child. And the last one is associative shifting. As the title indicates, there will be an associative shifting in the response. In other words, any response which is possible can be connected or linked with any stimulus. So, we can conclude that Thorndike's trial and error learning theory is very important, not only in your academic purpose, but in your future endeavors. For the examination purpose, you have to prepare the notes as well as possible questions and answers. Thank you, Anandar.